Hi guys and girls, welcome back to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. My lovelies, happy March. Happy March. And apart from the hair transformation vlog, this is the first video with the new hair. What do we think? I feel I'm definitely getting in the spring vibe right now. Um, a lot of you guess read. I was checking through the comments and I'm slowly replying to them all and catching up. And a lot of you said, I hope you're going back red. And then when it was, you was like, yes, I knew it. And you know me too well. And a lot of you have put colours on there that you thought I was going to go, which are actually on my colour list. So who knows? Who knows what the months of 2023 are going to bring, eh? But I thought, you've had the past few home bargains hauls, makeup free, au naturel. We're kicking off March. We've got new hair. Put a bit of slap on. Put those lashes on, Shan. And we have a huge bag. Now, my lovelies. I can barely lift it. I've actually come and put it on the chair today because trying to lift it on the bed was just nigh on impossible. Now, you might think, looking in here, Shan, you're a little bit pre-Easter vibes, like, say, some bits for April, but if you want to get your hands on some Easter bits, guys, you have to get them kind of, like, a month or so before. So I've picked up a little few bits. Not a lot, a lot, but we have got a few bits. I mean, you can you can already see there's a cuddly toy poking its head out, which I cannot wait to put straight on the bed in April. But, again, pick it up while you can. So, shall we start rabbiting and get in with our monthly home bargains haul kicking off March? Let's go. <laughs> right, so... In this position, I kind of don't know where I'm going to put all the stuff. It may be a bit of leaning across. It might just be chucking it down on the floor. We will go with the flow. So, they had a lot of bits in my one. They had the aisle for Easter. Then there was like the Easter sweet aisle. And then there was bits for Mother's Day. I didn't pick up anything for Mother's Day because mum don't really like odds and bobs. We all know that. Mum likes experiences or days out or anything like that. So... I'm kind of stuck at the moment what to get mum for Mother's Day. I've got a few odd bits and bobs that I've kind of seen out and about, but I'm trying to think of what to get her for a main one. I feel like I might just get her like a hair voucher with my hairstylist and hair colourant lady. We all know Carly, the queen of hair who takes me through all my hair transformations. I feel like I might just be like, right, whatever mum wants, it's on me. It won't probably be till the summer because she's a very, very busy lady and booked up months in advance. Lucky her. So grateful that she fits me in. Um, but yeah, because I said to mum, what do you want? She was like, meh. So I'm thinking a few little like jokey bits just to open and then we may look for a hair experience possibly because we still have quite a lot of virgin experience days to do. So I don't really want to buy her too many of them because we've literally just bought another two. I think we spoke about it in one of the last vlogs and it's like, yeah. There's just a lot of stuff coming. So, shall we just kick it off with this guy? Oh my God, guys. Now, this was, if I remember correctly, $4.99. But just look, how gorgeous. It's a little chick in an egg, a little Easter chick. They had a bunny, and I want to say like a giant carrot. A carrot is sticking in my mind, but yeah, I thought I'd go for the chick. And he was $4.99. It's so soft. Yes, I am 27, but I still love my cuddly toys, okay? It's another little cushion to cuddle up to at night for the Easter season. And also, let me know, like, anywhere else you think I should go. I feel like I will be doing the rounds with B&M also before Easter. Actually, so I've been planning my content for the next week, and I feel like I'm going to be cheeky. I want you guys to, if you want to pick up some Easter bits and bobs, get there while you can. So, I feel like all of this week's uploads could potentially be hauls. And then you will have the Hello Spring vlog coming. Because obviously, I don't want to do the vlog and then you see bits and bobs and think, well, where are they from? And then you'll see the video later on and it might be too late. So, what I'm going to do... That will be the thing. We're going to have almost like a uh, Black Friday week. We're going to have hauls on all of our uploads. And then you will get a nice Hello Spring vlog. That's how we're going to go. That is how we're going to go. And I'll tell you what, my lovelies. I needed some tissues. But these used to be 99p. And they are now, I think, 119. It's by the brand Softy. Very, very standard. But I liked the box packaging. 
I feel very spring, very neutral. And you know, I always get two because I like it to be symmetrical. However, <laughs> the second box never gets used. So I end up, once I use my side, putting that on my side and then I'll just put like a figurine or something on the other side of the bed because I hate it looking uneven. Anyone else like that? Or is it just me? I feel like it's just me. Essentials, because as you will have seen in previous vlogs, Mama G hasn't been too well. She is on the mend now, touch wood. She's all good, she's on the mend. However, she's just got like the sniffles left. So I thought we'll get her some more Paloma Exclusive Super Soft. It's still the I Heart Art range. Now, I don't feel like they've changed the packaging for a while. I feel like we've had this for quite a few months because if you know me, tissues, they are always an essential. Like part of my Alex drawers, my toiletries, I've got one pretty much filled with tissues. They're always handy because you never know when you're going to be found short and you're going to need a little tissue. I take them to work. They're in the car. They're in here. They're by my bedside. They are everywhere, okay? Absolutely everywhere. <sighs> you're gonna look at this next bit and be like did you need that so i am on my health kick now ain't i six months to my holiday we are good to go and i have an obsession for many things and you've probably just seen what it is and you're probably saying did you need that so i saw this and it was 2.99 i have a larger one i have i think it's like the two and a half liter one but that's that's too big for me to carry it's too much hassle for me to carry and there's no way i'm getting through that much at the moment i'm probably going through two or three sippy bottles at the moment and that's good for me i am still diluting with a little bit of juice just to start getting some water back in me and not fizzy pop and then slowly gradually take the uh, juice out but i saw the baby one so if i i can't remember what it said on the thing how much does this hold I feel like I want to say this holds one litre as opposed to the two and a half one. But I thought, you know what? This is still a nice size for when I'm back in the gym and I'm doing my classes, especially on a Saturday, guys, because, you know, I leave home about half six and I don't get until half 12. That's with a five mile return walk and three classes. This is still a good size. So I thought, you know what? <laughs> I saw it and I just couldn't say no. And I put it in the trolley and I was like... Oopsie, we're just going to push it through. And when mum was looking through, she was like, is that another water bottle? Well, I was like, no, it's a little spring of ours. She did not buy that at all. She knew it was a blooming water bottle. It was just like Shannon Lee. I was like, come on, mama. And these are for Mama G. So these, again, used to be about 99p. And I feel they're like £1.9 at the moment. And they are Maxwell House. Apologies if you hear noise. I think we've got grinding tonight. We've had drilling this week and now it sounds like grinding and sanding, which is just perfect on a Friday evening, isn't it? Currently half seven. <laughs> Welcome to Footloose. If you're a newbie, you're probably thinking, what's going on there? Trust me, watch some old vlogs, you'll get up to gist. And um, these are about £1.9 now, but mum absolutely loves them because she hates using the coffee machine when I'm not here. It's like she almost feels like she needs to be supervised. I'm like, mum, you're a grown adult. It's literally just pressing a button, but no. So I get these. So I've got latte, eight sachets. And as I say, £1.9, which is still a hell of a lot cheaper than going Costa and Starbucks because is it me or are those prices actually going through the roof? I grabbed a Costa the other day for lunch and for me and my friend. And I think it was like 8 50 And I'm thinking, for two drinks? Like, they're not even alcoholic. Aye, aye, aye. Inflation, my love, is inflation. Now, I really didn't need this, but I saw the packaging and I fell in absolute love. So this was $1.99, and this was as soon as you walked into my home bargains. And it's by the brand Eternite or Eternite Beauty Perfect, and it's a watermelon face mask. We all know anything watermelon is a bit of me. Oh, guys, you don't see my new nails. What are we thinking? A very spring? I thought it was a very nice springy colour. Um, this is watermelon face mask, a refreshing gel face mask. Now, I thought it was clay. <gasps> oh, it's got a thing. Oh, my God, guys, it's even got a little spoon with it. That's bougie for $1.99. Right, let's try and lift it out just so you can see the consistency. Oh, it is jelly. Oh. <gasps> 
okay can you see that it's like proper wibble wobble robinson's jelly oh my god that smells good enough to eat oh they did actually have some other scents in this it was watermelon i feel like there was a strawberry and i want to say like an almond or a honey i saw it and i'm not gonna lie i was kind of suckered in by the packaging <laughs> it was pink it had watermelons on and i was kind of like you know what we're gonna go with it but yeah i'm very excited to try that you might see that in one of my reset day vlogs how does it say to use it is it just normal clean and dry the skin apply the face mask avoid the eyes 10 15 minutes rinse off with cool water to reveal hydrated soothed and calm skin two to three applications a week we will give that a go because i don't know why my lovelies t and my we're going to go on a tangent but after my last cycle my skin is just kind of not like it's still a little bit problematic so whenever mother nature comes and blesses me with her presence i always normally get like dryness on my left cheek and normally that goes the week or so after but i'm a couple of weeks off of her now and it's still there so i feel like this weekend i need to do like a proper pamper which i've got tons of filming to do which is great however of the evening i will pamper sorry if i keep thinking that really nice when, <laughs> when my hair is just like it's sticking out i think i'm going to do a body shop himalayan charcoal mask i'm going to leave that on give my skin a nice big soak i might even put like a hot flannel on it and then put some of my tea tree spot treatment even though it's not spot i feel like it might help with the redness because yeah she's just been a little bit temperamental but mum said you do like change your skin every seven years or so so i don't know if i'm coming into the cycle of a new skin because i am coming up to 28 in may so mm, potentially so we shall see we shall see how it goes my lovelies okay very simple mum wanted some roll on i think i'll picture another one up. oh yeah i did she got two dove roll on these were one pound just in the standard invisible dry i am i'm kind of like mum i like to stick to dove for my roll on um mum either uses dove or mum because that's what my nan used to use i however this probably sounds so shallow but i have dove roll on but i like it's either the cucumber scent or the pomegranate it's either the green lid or the pink lid you probably think shan it's just a freaking roll on but yeah i don't know why i just really like them ones and they smell really nice so i saw them they didn't have any jazzy um scents that's what you'll find in like the barking shops the toiletries are kind of just like the run of the mill you won't really get many that are say scented or different bits and bobs without paying a little extra but one pad for the invisible dry absolutely why not now there's going to be quite a few of these in the back because I went a little bit to tan. Because we are on the health kick, snacking, snacking still happens. But it's all about trying to look at the calories and bits and bobs. Um, I have actually been doing the, my protein meals. Um, I feel like I might do a whole video on them after i've had my first lot of 10 so i bought 10 bits and bobs i'm three meals down absolutely love them i've been having them as breakfasts not the main meals they do do breakfast in the range don't think i'm sitting there eating like a chicken tikka masala at nine o'clock in the morning absolutely not um but i feel like once i've done my first 10 and i've tried everything on there i'm going to maybe get another lot of 10 and i might do a video on it i don't know i might include it within like a reset day vlog or an update i'm not too sure but yeah the breakfast that i've had are extremely tasty and my snacks that i've been having i've been finding them more like savory and i get the aldi's version of sun bites i think they're called like light bites very cheeky with the name i know but i need some savory bits so i've got mum some creamy cheese pasta now she loves these i feel like these have gone up to like 60 or 70p now and I don't think they're on an offer, if I remember correctly. And then the one that me and mum absolutely love now are the chicken and mushroom noodles. As I say, these will be popping up because I got quite a few that are scattered around the bag somewhere. <laughs> mum specifically said one thing. No hand wash, no bubble bath, and no air fresheners. I don't think i got a hand wash and i don't think i got a bubble bath 
but I did detour and get an air freshener. This is the Fabulosa brand and it's called Cheeky Riley. And I smelt this in the shop and I was like, oh my God, I need this. And also because it was like red, it kind of matched the vibe. So yeah, I was uh, very pleasantly surprised. Should we give it a little spray? Love it. If you see this, give it a little spritz, all right? As I say, make sure there's no one in the vicinity or area. Mm. That's going to make me sneeze, ain't it? <laughs> what are we giving it? Five, ten minutes before I start sneezing? Ay, ay, ay. Ah, guys, I don't feel like I've had these before. So normally, you know me, I love my skinny whips. But Home Bargains didn't have any. And the one that they did have, it was... Why do I want to say it's like a peanut butter? Obviously, I don't really like peanut butter. So I was like, no. So I've seen these because my friend at work is trying to like get me on the salted caramel vibe. And mummy's actually coming around to salted caramel. So I'm like, okay, we're going to see how this goes. I saw these. These are by the brand Bliss. Enjoy me guilt-free. Salted caramel whip bars, gluten-free, less than 99 calories. I feel like they're very much similar to a skinny whip. Probably just another brand, another styling. But per bar is only 98 calories so i don't think that's too bad like if i was in the mood for a sweet treat as opposed to a savory treat so i feel like i got another box of them in a different flavor but yeah skinny whips i'm holding out for them someone messaged me and said oh my god like skinny whip is like central in b&m so i'm like oh maybe i might see if i can pick some up we will never know how gorgeous is this hanging plaque and if i remember correctly it was like 199 i should have got more than this but i feel like i don't want to get too much because i know that i'm going b and m and you know me home bargains is always my mainly food over homeware whereas b and m is mainly homeware over food so i didn't want to get too many just in case i end up going b and m and getting some more spinning plaques but yeah 199 i love this i've got no idea where it's going to go we need to find a hook on the wall or put a little nail in who knows but yeah i just thought that was really cute and also it would be lovely as like if say you was doing some baking you could sit that with like your little easter plate how cute would that be i think that would be absolutely gorgeous as you can tell i get very easily sidetracked oh and talking about getting easily sidetracked you know me and mum, if there is ever an occasion, Christmas, Halloween, Easter, whatever, we love a good hot chocolate. And I saw this and I got mum, where's her one? I think I got her the bunny one somewhere in there. A milk chocolate unicorn filled with chocolate chips and marshmallows. Add to all milk and watch it melt. Now I feel like these are $1.49. I got a unicorn. I feel like I've got mum the rabbit and there was also a dinosaur. But I mean, how... I've probably just smashed the chocolate in that, dropping it on the floor. But anything just to make like, <laughs> what happened there? Um, anything to make like evenings and just standard drinks, a little bit more fun. Just to see it like bobbing around. Who remembers? I don't feel it was last Halloween. I feel it was the Halloween before. We had the white chocolate ghost and we was melting that in the pot. And there was nothing more satisfying than just watching it like, I'm melting into hot chocolate goodness <laughs> right it's a lot of random stuff oh my god that room spray smells lovely now i can proper give it a whiff right let's go with a couple because we're almost halfway through and i've not got out the absolute essentials if you go to a bargain shop now i was a little bit bougie with the drinks this month normally you know me i get me 49p cans done and dusted however i still had a bargain i picked up quite a few of the fanta ranges because they had a lot of different like flavors now i've had the fanta berry before and i wasn't really that overly impressed however i have a feeling i might try and do something with this for easter so i picked this up these are 99p which if you know american drinks and american candy is so much cheaper than going to the shop in london we went into a shop on tottenham court road and a can of fanta was three pound 29 one can 99p at home bargain so i don't think it was terrible and i also picked up the pineapple flavor now i don't know if i've had the pineapple i can't really remember but 
again they had loads in the one in london there was a peach one there was i think i saw like a mojito one and i was like whoa saw the price and was like hell no we are gonna leave that there and then finally guys you know i have not been able to get these sponges for months for ages i do not know if there was a shortage of these what are they power actions 10 pack of sponge scourers but these i have not been able to get for a few months i had to get mum the little four packs hadn't i so yeah she was very happy that i managed to pick these up i feel like 79 or 89p still under a pound which for 10 sponges ain't that bad i don't think because i do like the ones with the pink bottoms i'm not gonna lie we all know i like my uh, pink bottom sponges but mum's just like getting whatever and uh, I think I'm going to quickly change the battery on this and we will come back for the second half because guys all I'm going to say right you know what that means we've got in there oopsie <laughs> right so we are back if you saw my monthly favourites last month I told you I've actually become really obsessed with dime chocolate bars and I don't know why my friend introduced them to me at work and I was like oh this is underrated so I got a little three pack for one pound and I've also where is it there was a flavour that I hadn't seen before I'm not gonna be able to find it now but I'll show you when I get in because I've tried the chocolate ones and then I've seen this new flavour and I was like oh we've got to give that a go some more coffee sachets as i say one pound nine these are the maxwell house canon there we go maxwell house cappuccino so mum's got a nice latte and she's got a cappuccino because she says she don't really know her coffees but she does she does the one that she is missing out on at the moment is chococino i need to get some more pods because she's like shan it's cold weather i'm like i know mum i know but she's gonna be very happy when she sees her little cooking egg so this is the hot chocolate easter egg i thought it was in the shape of a bunny it's got a bunny on it so again one pound 49 bunny unicorn or a dinosaur and you're probably thinking then what do you mean an easter box well i went into home bargains and i really like this idea of boxes for anything or like gift giving for any occasion and I was looking on Etsy and I found Easter crates. Oh my God, guys, the urge to not buy them. I had to remain within myself. I have said to mum though, whenever I move out, we will make it a tradition to still continue with all of these bits and bobs, but I will invest in proper wooden crates or boxes. So Halloween, Christmas Eve, Easter, maybe even see if we could get a Valentine's box. But I did quite like our gift bags that we've done this year but i still want to continue with the gift giving so i saw these they're very childish i'm not gonna lie they are very childish but they was 2.99 i don't think that's bad at all because it is something that we are going to keep <laughs> it's an easter box so first off the size of it i think is actually really good and then on the top it says special delivery please send to da 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 special easter bunny delivery so i don't know obviously we will have to write on it and oh my god that is the most important point it's got the easter bunny seal of approval but i thought it's just a bit of fun ain't it and as i say oh my god you even get a bit of tissue paper in it how fabulous but that is a good size box ain't it and i thought it was cute we only with the valentines i think we had a budget of like 25 quid it weren't like christmas eve or anything like that where we do like a proper little pamper like a box for everything like that i think halloween we maybe have like a 25 pound budget as well christmas though we are going to try and do it on a budget this year valentine's day was 25 so i feel like maybe like the 25 pound mark for this but we want to get like i don't know i've definitely got to get a like some form of a gong um this one you're gonna see another addition to the gong family in a minute it's way too big to fit in but i feel like maybe a little bunny or like a little soft toy and then some chocolates we all know she, she loves reese's peanut butter but i'm just thinking when to give it to her because should we do it all good friday easter monday easter sunday when do you think guys that we should do our easter box exchange do you think we should kick it off 
Easter Friday, Good Friday, and then that way we can use it throughout Easter in the vlog. But of course, I got two of them. So we've got matching, and I've just checked. I think that's really cute. It says Easter on the side. So yeah, if you are wanting to do something like with your little ones, or even for yourself, like I mean, I keep saying little ones, but I don't want to drop the boxes. <laughs> This is me and mum. Even if you are an adult and you want to do a gift guide with like your partner, your friend, anything like that, I think they're not too bad for two ninety nine. As I say, when you look at the crates and everything on Etsy, and they're like twenty, twenty five, thirty pounds in some cases, it's like whew, absolutely cool. Okay, right now they're out. I can see everything. So I did get a little sidetracked down the Easter aisle. I would like to introduce you to the newest member of the woodland creature family within this household and it's from the spring range and it is a flocked rabbit. Now guys, this is gorgeous, great size, great size, it's got a little bit of weight to it and I feel like this was £4.99 which maybe for home bargains is expensive but I do think it's going to be a key piece that you can keep from year in year out. They also done it in a baby blue colour and a baby pink colour but I wanted to go for the yellow. I, I really like my lemons and yellows in spring and that. Not going to lie though I did want all three. <laughs> I'm not going to lie at all. I wanted all three of them but trying to be responsible because when I saw the gong which you will see shortly I couldn't not get the gong. So I was like, you know what? One rabbit and that will make up for the gong condition. This is the other dime flavour, guys. Let me know if you've tried this. Mint. Another three pack for 99p. So I'm very intrigued to try these. I'm like, oh, I don't know. I'll have to share it with my friend at work because they will not be happy if I'm trying new flavours without them. Seeing as they introduced me to the dime. And I'm like, yeah, did you try that flavour? Oh my God, it was delicious. And they're just sitting there like, you know what? I'll be like, my bad. Talking about my bad, I got dark chocolate and coconut whip bars. So these are definitely like skinny whip. These are giving me whole skinny whip vibes. I was trying to see if they had a mint version because, you know, skinny whip, the mint ones is mine and Mama G's favourite. Like, we absolutely love it. But we shall see. For 99p, is it worth it? Is it a dupe? I will let you know. You're going to see this and be like, Shan, very unnecessary. But I don't have one of these for this season, okay? I got an Easter City car. <laughs> Ow, just trapped my finger in as well. This was 2 99 and it is a gorgeous iridescent sippy cup. You could get the straw blue, but I went for the pink one. And it's just got this lovely, like, kind of like, you know, the um, holographic Easter egg design on. A novelty happy Easter tumbler. And, you know, it's novelty. It's another cup slash mug sippy cup. I'm going to drink so much water out of this. This you will see in future hauls, future videos. I'll be like... Well, you won't because that was the year. Like, make sure you actually get the straw. I thought this was really cute. Again, something like this. Oh, my God, to put iced coffees in. <gasps> yes. Iced coffees. Yes, please. Let's put that in there and actually make sure that I've got one that shuts properly. That would just be my luck, wouldn't it? I've got one that doesn't close properly. Oh, no, it does. Does it? You know when you're, like, feeling it and I'm like, is it shutting? Yes, it is. You just got to be a bit firm with it. But I love that. $2.99. I mean, I know it's gimmicky. There's probably, <laughs> you're probably sitting there being like, Shan, don't shout at me, okay? Look, Easter is the last season where I get my fun until Halloween. So that's April, May, June, July, August, September, October. It's seven months before I get to start like decorating and having fun again. They need to do something like maybe May or June as a season. We need to create a seasonal occasion so that we can just have some fun eh because i get withdrawal symptoms i think from just creating home decor and decorating the house now i said that we had a lot didn't we let's have a look is there any more hiding about in here no so we've got another creamy cheese and then we've got another three. Oh no there's a hole in one of them i'm thinking it's very dusty oh i've just poured oh it's 
trust it to be the cheese one. I'm going to have to say to mum, right, that needs to be held up there. Thank goodness I'm not in black trousers or leggings. But now, I don't want my um, squeaky chair stinking of creamy cheesy dust. Oh, good Lord. Well, thank goodness I wasn't in my PJs as well either. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yes, squeaky chair is back. Still don't know what on earth is going on with it. I mean, squeaky chair is as bad as relevant to the channel as Footloose. I mean, we haven't done a video really or vlogs or anything at all without squeaky chair being involved, have we? No, no, no. Very boring. But normally I get mum the J cloths. However, she didn't want the J cloths. She said cloth and then she put it got in her brackets ribbed and i'm like what is a ribbed cloth luckily home bargains make it very self-explanatory for the likes of me and says three ribbed cleaning cloth you literally couldn't put it any more self-explanatory i feel like these were three for 50 or 60p so i thought you know what i'll get her a couple because she don't normally ask for these she normally asks for the j cloths on the roll which i think is about 20 or 30 for a pound but yeah so I don't know, this is why I'm not an adult yet. I don't know the difference between the cleaning sponges. However, if you saw my moving out, like getting ready to move out, which was years ago, but I still like it because it's like a little inventory for me. I had a whole video on cleaning supplies and it was literally sponges and cloths. So I've got all of this stuff, but <laughs> I'm just like, okay, it all does the same thing. Maybe not. I will have to ask Mama G's knowledge for that now a drink I told you there was a strawberry one strawberry and of course red to match the hair so of course i had to get it i would actually like to do a video like taste testing all the drinks i feel like in the summer i'm going to make a trip to london i'm going to bite the bullet and i'm going to get like american snacks or you know what i'd really love to do like japanese snacks like oriental snacks oh my god I would love to do that. Love, love, love. Because I just like trying new foods. Part of me was wanting to start um, Snack Surprise, which is a monthly subscription. And it's a box and it's like different foods from around the world every month. And part of me really wanted to start that. And then I'm thinking, oh, I don't know. That's something I'm, you're going to think I'm really crackers now. But I want to start thinking of series for next year. I'm so... <laughs> I like to be organised, don't I? But I'm just constantly thinking of videos that are like sit down chatty ones and that. So like we could do a QA and a whilst we're trying the bits in the box. But yeah, that was something I definitely thought of. If any of you guys are subscribed to Snack Surprise, let me know down below whether it's worth it and like what you actually think of it. Is it a yay? Is it a nay? Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave you till last. Okay, you're just going to stay there nothing exciting picked mum up another bleach i got the citrus blast one though this is 60 70p i want to say you can get the gray bottle which is slightly larger and it's like extra thick i think that one is one pound but yeah just the basic one for mum two more drinks these you will find in with they're not like with the waters or the juices they are in with like the um fitness sections and I've had them before. It's the Oshi vitamin water. These are 80p per each because they've got vitamins and minerals, magnesium and B6. And I said to you before, guys, how can you have vitamins in water? And a lot of you said to me, like, they do this and, like, how it's done. And, I mean, I'm all here for it. If it gets me extra vitamins and extra goodies in my body, why not? Why not indeed, eh? And then mum asked for bags for bin. I'm like, oh, that's so generic. Is it dustbin bags? Is it black bin bags? Is it the swing liners? Is it... I just got so confused. So I've got two options. And then I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, we haven't got... Oh, we do have a pedal bin in the um bathroom. But I don't know if they mean a pedal bin, like a proper pedal bin or not. I got two of these. I got the 40 handy bags. These are good. These are under a pan. And mum uses these sometimes as like mini rubbish bags to then put in the black bag for the rubbish. And then I got 40 pedal bin liners, again, under a pound. I don't know if these are going to be like pedal bin liners for long bins. Looking at the picture, I'm hoping they're for the small ones because they go in the little bin in the bathroom. You know that like when it's time of the month, sanitary products and everything goes in there because, you know, we just like to keep everything nice and sanitary, eh? Picked up a couple of packs of gum. 
gummy's getting so expensive now guys isn't it i'm like what is going on so i got a 40 piece of mentos spearmint i feel like this was 70 or 80p and then for a pound i picked up a three pack of wrigley's extra white but melon mint flavor i mean we all know i love anything a little bit melon and if it's minty as well we shall see how it goes eh let's see the dealio did i actually just say that yes i did <laughs> and then i picked up a few little essentials so you know these i still i feel is this where after all this time i actually know what my poof poof is i feel like it's glade i'm looking at i feel like that is a g i'm looking at and not air i am gonna say after all of these years on youtube that I finally decided that the poof poof is a glade. So if you have a poof poof which is glade, don't be paying the prices for the refills. Home bargains, B and M, ninety nine p. The brand is Air Pure and they are the dupes. Have a look though because they might fit Airwick as well. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, they fit mine. I just picked it up in fresh linen because I'm not about paying like three four quid for refills when I can get them for ninety nine p. You know. And then a little essential I'd run out was some shaving gel this was 89p in the latest section i don't know if it's going to have it just says aloe vera skin protect i don't know if it's going to have a little scent on it but there was one i feel like i got it from poundland and it was a lemon one if you see that i wouldn't recommend when it come out it did not lather up at all and i felt like it almost stung me when i shaved so yeah i'm hoping that's going to be like one that i used to get from tesco's which is a nice thick lather up you know and then I've got this to go in mum's Easter box. This was, I want to say, 89p. It was under a pound, but you might think that's a lot for a lolly. But these are the marshmallow lollies, and I really like them. I think that's so cute. And they're just very novelty, ain't they? Very novelty. You've got a bunny, a carrot, a sheep, and the little Easter egg. So that is to go in for mum's Easter egg box. And then the essential that, oh my gosh, she's been crying out for this. We have had no washing up liquid in the house. Like, she has been doing smithereens when she has needed it. So I was like, mum, don't worry, I will get a big washing up liquid. One pound. One pound morning fresh. And it's the mega value pack. 675 ml. You can't go wrong. They do also do it in lemon. And if you don't like this brand and you want elbow grease, elbow grease also do it for lemon one pound but i feel like it's a slightly smaller bottle the elbow grease but hey ho it's all um all worth it but the main thing and guys i'm so excited for you to see this oh my goodness something's not the uh washing up liquid is just not but guys i could i could not oh the gonk obsession for 2023 has begun <laughs> They had these again in blue and lemon. And do you know when I saw them all on that top shelf, I wanted to take them all home with me. But I went with pink. I just thought, okay. And I thought, I hope that they get these every year because then every year I can just get an alternative colour. This was £5.99. Was you £6? Yeah, I feel like you were 6 I don't feel like you was 5 5 or £6. But yeah. It's just so cute. It's not like a wobbly one or anything like that. It's just a fixed gonk. But it's got its little patchwork ears. And that. Oh, I'll save the best to last. You know we cannot do any Easter hauls. Without featuring some form of gonk. A gonk or a rabbit. And this all we've had both. <laughs> so my lovelies. Can you believe we are in March. We are in spring. We are prepping for Easter. April is here on the way. We are decorating for spring soon. You have got so many hauls coming, okay? I am so excited. I mean, I know it's only been a couple of months since Christmas, but the house genuinely feels so bare. We've had the big heart wreath that we got to go in the hallway for Valentine's, but that needs to come down and we need the Easter stuff out. We need spring. But saying that, that could stay up, but we could just place it somewhere else. I don't know. We will have to have a thing, but yeah, um, the gonk edition... <laughs> the gonk edition is gonna grow because let's just say i've been to tk max and home since last week oh, guys just wait just freaking wait okay because 
the gong's there in next level, okay? And I could have gone more OTT. I could have gone more OTT, but reined it in and as much as it pained me, we've still got a good selection though. But guys, I normally say that my bed is filled, but my floor and my dressing table is filled today. So that means we have had a blooming good haul. And I don't want to take up any more of your time. As I say, you're probably going to feel all shopped out by the end of the week. Because all of the uploads I feel like are going to be hauls. But yes, if you did enjoy the video, guys, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. What was your favourite bit? Have you already started shopping for Easter? Any spring decor? Any places that you think, Shan, you need to go, all right? Whether that be B&M, Poundland, anything like that. I might actually pop to Poundland because I did say that I will go there on seasonal occasions. So I'll have a look. There might be a Poundland haul coming soon. But yeah, if you did enjoy, you've already done that. But I hope you did enjoy. It's the first proper, like, Easter spring haul. And I'm really excited. So yes, take care. Stay safe as always. And I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> For another haul. Bye guys!